Hi, I'm Damon Smith, Extension Field Crops Pathologist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Brian Luck, Associate Professor and Extension Specialist in Machinery Systems at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So in this episode of Bumper Crops, we're going to talk a little more about roller crimping rye and, and you know, just some of the machinery uh, that's needed to roller crimp into, into these rye systems. And we're out here at the Arlington Ag Research Station because you have some ongoing research out here, don't you, Brian? Yeah, we do. We're working with uh, a USDA NRCS Conservation Innovation Grant uh, to look at machinery in what we'll call no-till organic production. So we were crimping rye uh, at Anthesis. Uh, and looking into roller crimpers. Very good. So what, what should folks look for uh, in a roller crimper if they're going to be trying out the system? Absolutely, yeah. We've been fortunate enough to work with a couple of companies, Dawn Equipment and McFarland Manufacturing, um, and we've used those roller crimpers throughout our study. We've done it. This will be our third year now. Um, we're not seeing a lot of differences in the crimp quality. They all seem to do a pretty good job. A couple of things I'd look for is make sure you have crimper blades often enough so that you're getting two or three crimps down the stem at least, maybe more. Um, and then also looking at the weight of the machine. So you wanna make sure you're putting enough down pressure to get that crimp. That will change with soil conditions. So if it's wetter, you have a little softer uh, surface like on a cutting board and yep. you're gonna to need to push a little harder. If it's drier, you won't have to push as hard to get that good crimp so on the right. So just make sure you're making some of those adjustments as soil conditions change a little Absolutely, bit. yeah. If we have ours on a front three point, so I can adjust it up and down. If it's on the rear of the machine, same thing. Um, the other thing you can do is add weights. If you weld on a small bracket with suitcase weights, you can make it go up or down that way. Nice. So, so you know, we got the crimper going, but we probably also have to do some things on the planter as we, you know, if we're going to be planting into that, that thick mat. Could you talk a little about some things we need to do to the planter to absolutely. make that effective? Yep, absolutely. So a um, couple of things to consider is you're planting over a thick mat of something, so your depth is going to mm -hmm. change. If you set it at where it normally goes three okay. inches in the ground, you probably need to be at four, right, for corn. Uh, same thing with soybeans as far as an inch. Uh, we have down pressure on the system, just making sure that the seed to soil contact is there and we're achieving the depth we want to. Um, the other result I can share is we actually looked at uh, fl 13 flute no-till coulters and corn specifically. Um, they actually showed us a better emergence with that rye residue out there. So make sure if you're going into heavy rye like that, put a no-till coulter on there. Um, and we're using a 13 flute and it seems to really help. Awesome. Some excellent points there. I'm sure uh, if you'd like to learn more about uh, uh, roller crimping into rye or equipment, I'm sure you have a website. I do. It's wimachineryextension.bse.wisc.edu. And if you'd like to learn more even after that, feel free to visit your local extension agent. <laughs>